Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coach Greg Sports. Today is Friday, May 6th, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, we'll be taking a quick look back at yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out, talking about my core plays for today, as well as my top GPP stacks for the FanDuel main slate. But without further ado, we'll get into it with a recap of yesterday's picks. We'll start off with the pitcher position in Miles Mikolos, who was $9,600, got us 29 points. I did give him a push yesterday. He was the seventh overall pitcher on the slate. So not really a guy that killed you, but not really a guy that helped you overall. Pitched five and two-thirds innings. If he just got that extra out, then we would have got 33 points out of him. Then we moved down to first base with Pete Alonso, $3,700, got to 12.2, so I gave him a hit as well. He was the third overall first baseman on the slate yesterday. Then we moved down to Heimer Candelario at $2,300, got 25.2 points. He was a hit. He was the second first baseman on the slate, and he was also the second third baseman on the slate. So a very, very good play at a cheap price tag at $2,300 yesterday. Then we had Kyle Schwarber, $3,800. He got to 15.4 points. He was a hit as well. Top 10 outfielder on the day. And then we did have Brandon Nimmo, $2,900. Got to 13.2, so he was a hit as well. So we did have four hits for our hitters and then a push for our pitcher. If we had a little bit better pitcher, could have had a little bit better day. But overall, a very, very successful day altogether. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my core picks for today. We'll start off at the pitcher position with Shane Bieber, $9,800, averaging just under 36 fantasy points per game on the season. Obviously, Shane Bieber is one of the better pitchers in Major League Baseball. We get him at a little bit of a discount here. Goes against the Toronto Blue Jays. When you think of the Blue Jays, not the easiest matchup on paper, but he has had some pretty good success against these hitters overall in his career. Then we move down to Jared Walsh at first base, a guy that's really been hitting the ball well as of late. $2,900, pretty cheap price tag there for him, and he's going against Adon on the Nationals tonight. Should be a favorable matchup, although he has no history versus him in the past. Then we're going to move down to second base with Gene Segura, a guy that I've been playing a lot as of late. $2,700, obviously has some versatility to play second or shortstop, depending on which position you need him at in your lineup. Pretty decent history versus Max Scherzer as well. 10 for 30 with the one home run, so there is some upside there, even though it is a tougher pitching matchup for most players. Then we move down to third base, and this is kind of where I was between Raphael Devers and Trevor Story, so if you want to play Story instead of Devers, you can definitely do that as well. But I went with the guy that's been a little bit more consistent this year, although he is $500 more. And with that being said, you know, Raphael Devers averaging just over nine fantasy points on the season. He is two for five with one home run versus Vince Velasquez in his career. But you can pretty much play him. You could play a Trevor Story if you wanted to as well. And there's a couple other Red Sox in my cheat sheet for the day as well. Then we move down to our last pick of the day, an outfielder, Christian Yelich, $3,300, averaging just under 12 fantasy points per game on the season. He's really turned it on as of late, looking more like that old MVP Yelich. So going against the Braves today, it's only Yasker Hanoa pitching. He is one for one with him in his career, which was a grand slam as well. So pretty good history. If you're only going to have one way back against a guy, hitting a grand slam is about as good as it's going to get. So Christian Yelich is definitely somebody I have a lot of interest in once again today. But with that being said, if you go with these five players that I do have listed here, you have $12,600 remaining, just over $3,100 per player. So, so there's a good little bit that you can kind of mix and match on today's slate. So there's going to be some values across the board, especially on a 13-game slate like this. Please just keep in mind weather for these games. There's like four or five games today that have a good chance of rain. So just be on the lookout for that. I'll try to leave updates as much as I can down in the comments as well. And then with that being said, we'll get flipped over to my article for the day and the top GPP stacks. We're going to go with the Angels. They're going against Adon of the Nationals. Obviously, talked about Jared Walsh already. You can obviously play Mike Trout, Shoei Otani. Uh, Taylor Ward's been hitting the ball really well, but he's up to $4,000. So kind of hit or miss whether or not you want to go chasing him today or not. And then we do have the Houston Astros. They're going against Bo Brisky for the Detroit Tigers. I believe it's his third appearance or his third start in the majors. So not a guy that's relatively experienced. Astros hitters could take advantage of that. Then I do have the Kansas City Royals hitters going against Jordan Lyles for the Baltimore Orioles. Obviously, Jordan Lyles is kind of liable to blow up on any given day. So looking at some of these Royals hitters, not looking too bad. That is a game that has some weather concerns as well. So definitely be sure you're on the lookout for that if that's one that you're chasing. Then last but not least, we do have that Boston Red Sox that I kind of talked about just a little bit before going against Vince Velasquez of the Chicago White Sox. A lot of these guys have hit him pretty well in the past. 
But with that being said, these are my core picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, May 6th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on tonight's slate. Might be somebody from my core five, maybe someone from my top GPP stacks, or maybe a completely different player that you guys think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you have to say. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. It helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers. Helping you with your DFS, whether it's MLB or USFL, those are the two main ones for the time being. And then once we get back into the regular seasons, we'll be talking some NFL and some NBA DFS as well. Also, be sure to check out my draft grade series. There'll be another one coming out tonight, as well as that USFL DFS coming out later on this afternoon. And then with that being said, if you are newer current subscribers yet to do so, also be sure you hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.